Welcome you to all for 7 standard CBSE tutorials. Today we look into the first chapter that is integers. So what is integers? Friends, before knowing to the integers, we should know what is the natural numbers. What is natural number? The natural numbers are the counting numbers. So from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. These are the natural numbers. We can easily say that 1, 2, 3, 4. The counting numbers are called natural numbers. Okay. And one more is what is whole numbers? Whole numbers or whole number. So whole number is also a counting number but it includes 0. It includes 0 and the natural number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. The basically, the natural numbers are the counting numbers 1 to 9 and the whole numbers are also a natural number but it includes a 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When it comes to integers, What is integers? Integer can be uh, defined as also the counting numbers. Integers can be defined as also the counting numbers. You can say natural numbers and whole numbers. So, natural numbers and whole numbers. But the situation here is integer means the natural number and the whole numbers having their positive values and the negative values having their positive values and their negative values. Then what is the integer then? Integers are the natural number or a whole number having their positive values and negative values. So we can say, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you can say minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, etc. So 0, <coughs> it is neither positive, this 0 is neither positive nor a negative value. But here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 they are the positive values. Minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are the negative values. Okay. In our day to day life we can experience the positiveness and negativeness. So in this case we will take up some examples here. Say for example height. Height from the ground level. See, for example, this is from ground 100 meters high from the ground level. Okay, this height can be from the ground 100 meters height can be represented as positive values. Okay, next depth. From the ground, if we say the sea level from the ground, from the sea top, the below the sea level, you can represent this as negative values. Okay. Next, in case of directions. If you are moving towards eastwise, moving towards eastwise, eastward, you can classify this as positive value. Okay, next, moving towards west. 
we can classify this as negative one. And in our day to day life, the profit, losses. So, profit of rupees 250 can be classified as positive value. Okay. Next, loss of rupees 250 can be classified here as negative value. Okay. And so many day to day examples we can classify positive values and negative values or you can say represent in terms of integers in okay. passing. So in the examination if a student passes you can classify this as positive values. Okay. Next failing. Fail. If a student fail in an examination, that can be classified here as negative values. Okay. And one more. Gaining weight. Gaining weight can be classified here as positive value. Losing weight can be classified here as negative value. Okay, anyone if you take a life also, so birth can be classified as positive value. Birth can be classified here as positive value. classify this as negative value. Okay. Now we look into that what is number line then? Number line is a line which represents the positive values, zeros and negative values to understand this given data or the given statement. Okay. We will see some examples. Okay, I will draw a number line here. Okay, so in between I will take this as a middle point. So, 0 can be represented here exactly at the middle. If we move towards right side, from the zero so the value keep on increasing that can be classified as a positive value see for example here plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six and so on. and from zero on left side that is on if we are moving towards left so the value keep on reducing it becomes a negative value see we can represent here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 and so on. We look into one example, say for example here, so plus 3, minus 7. In general our day to day activity what we do, the 7 is carrying a negative sign which is higher value, that is a negative value. In the negative value higher value it can be reduced the 3 plus 3 can be reduced and the value becomes minus 4. Then with the help of number line how to represent here. So plus 3. So I will take from here then I will move towards right side. Okay. You can say mark it here plus 3. Fine. You have started from here and move to right side and mark here third one. And next, what is the next sum? Is, uh, what is the next digit is minus 7. That is, we have to subtract 7. That is a negative value. So, from here, we have to start. You can mark it here. From here, 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, you come to this side. So, you can mark this side. Okay. Now, the answer here is plus 3 minus 7. It becomes 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 4. The answer here is, answer for the sum here is minus 4. We will see the next sum. So, example number minus 1 plus 6 plus plus of bracket minus 4. Okay. With the help of number line. Okay, we will take up 0 at the middle, on either side that is we will mark this as, right, we will mark here as left, okay, now I will note down some plus values, so plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6 and so on. Next here, the same way, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 and so on. Now, we will see the sum here, the minus 1. So, from here, 0, we should move leftward. Okay. Minus Minus 2. Then from here, the next digit is plus 6. So here, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. You can make a box here. So that here, minus 1, mark it as minus 1. And from here, we should move towards right side plus 6, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, you mark there as plus 5, okay. Next here, we have to subtract 4 here, plus c to minus is minus, we have to come again leftward here, from 5, I have to come leftward, 4 step left, 1, 2, 3 and 4, say this, from here, I will come left side and I will mark this as the answer here is so minus 1 plus 6 minus 5 minus 4 which equals to plus 1 the answer here is plus 1 okay fine